have some pretty knowledgeable people who sit on our committees and actually help us and promote the whole idea of the environment. It's really important to have that, that information spread into the decision makers. We've come across a number of um, projects that are funded to really advance the cause of, of revegetation and how it's applicable in a, in a vineyard situation. The Adelaide Hills wine region is a terrific group of people. Uh, some are small properties, some are larger properties, some are, are commercial properties, whereas others are family operations like ours. And I'm happy at any time to share and show people what we're doing, and I'm also very keen to see what they're doing. Farmers learn from farmers. We share ideas. We all learn from each other to uh, the ultimate good of the industry in the Adelaide Hills. So at the vineyard level, we're not communicating with our customers, so to speak, but we do have our fellow growers who we can communicate to via the wine region itself and through the viticulture subcommittee and, um, and just general chit chat down at the local reseller, bump into somebody and tell them what you're doing or what are you doing and it just becomes part of the conversation. You can start telling people, well, we've got rid of all this blackberry and this is how we did it. As the Adelaide Hills Wine Region Industry Association, we have a real duty to our members and the region to support best practice, environmental and sustainability principles. Providing educational opportunities for our growers and members is so important. Partnering with our neighbouring regions and local authorities like the NRM really give our growers and members a great opportunity to learn. Our field days, workshops, seminars that we hold regularly throughout the year are a great opportunity for our members and growers to get together, share and learn from each other's experiences. Through engaging with each other, our environmental and sustainability credentials will continue to grow. We're certainly always discussing our sustainability and environment with our customers and something that we hear a lot is that they are looking for best practices, they are looking for the most sustainable way of farming and that's something that we're definitely considering and that we're looking to implement and improve over time, in particularly our vineyard side of things. We're also getting feedback from the market in terms of um, using more natural products in our winemaking process as well. The younger generation is more and more focused around environmental issues and it's something that's at our core, not be, we're not responding to our consumers, um, but it, it is nice that what we are trying to do matches what our consumers want. Well, the way we look at our sustainability and how we try and explain what we do is we we use many ways. Um, I always include it in my talks about the vineyards. Um, we've got um, certain things on our website describing what we do. We actually have 50% of our land ownership uh, under native vegetation. So that's something that we're trying to uh, tell people, the next generation, that we do care for our land and we're, we're really trying to nurture. The Australian landscape is a really important part of our being um, and our sustainability.